Hello. It's been a couple of years since I made a video, but <clears throat> I am going to show off something I made over the last couple of days. This is um a very simple and I don't know, it's just a kipash I made. Um and I'll show you what's going on to the left in a minute. So this is something I made. Feel free to critique my work. Um, so that's Bean and all that. Um, some stuff I made. And then I'll show you what's this. So this is something else I made. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. I, um, wow. Whoops. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, way to kill that moment. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Back in. So yeah, that's something this is something I'm really proud of. Looks really good. And uh I could have made this probably all in one day, but I did over two because um I've probably been able to do something like this for a very long time, but I wanted to... My method was that um, I can build a lot of assets in a day, probably about eight assets in a day, before anyway, but then I started doing the whole, um, you know, the writer in the coffee shop mojo, except it's a 3D artist um, using a different form of inspiration mojo. Which is before I tried to come up with exactly what I wanted for a scene. Um, if I can move the camera, it's going to distract me. Um, coming up with exactly what I wanted for a scene. And um, just that took a long time. But um, my new idea, and I was doing this through testing um, myself. And how I'd go with it. And... Um, I figured out that it would be better to um, come up with a relatively same idea. So my theme for this um, room is a 1942 vault area. Um, and I tried to come up with all my ideas, um, you know, on the spot. And instead of um, coming up with relative ideas to what could fit a 1942 room, which means I get more props, and as well, I get the room done a lot faster. And that's what I found, that um, if I just come up with whatever, you know, would suit that thing, um, I get a lot more done, obviously, but it's also the fact that it, you know, comes up with more ideas, you know, as I um, come up with the more and more 1940 or whatever theme I've got, whatever theme I have, the more I come up with more ideas I'm getting, the, um, or the more of the image I develop, and uh, the more coffee, the more like it's, it's, it is to be that coffee shop, you know, because that writer um, tries to make his story while he's in a coffee shop, because the difference between being in his coffee shop and in his own home trying to come up with a story is that in a coffee shop he could see people doing things he could see people drinking from their cups or eating that you know that pie um, and so and he can see people probably on the streets just doing things doing whatever with their lives cars pulling out of you know mechanics store um, yeah and so that's the kind of thing that I came up with and the reason why I didn't originally do it, while to some artists it may seem stupid, it's because I wanted to see which would be more effective, just to come up with ideas on the spot, just from, you know, brainstorms over, you know, everything I know about in the 1940s and just coming up with something from that. And that's what I ended up doing. So that's how I created this kit bash. It's not perfect, I haven't completed it, because... I only completed what I see saw as necessary for the kit bash and nothing else. Um, while it is cool to make a room, at the time it seemed like quite time time consuming to create an environment when the whole intention was just to make a kit bash. 
So, but um, yeah, that's just the way it was. And but the point being, um, and this is just a little piece, um, that I didn't see any reason to connect to uh, this door back here because the story is that you know some guys maybe keeping children in this vault behind here and or money and he doesn't want his wife to see um the vault or whatever's behind the bookcase that he has downstairs which i didn't build the bookcase because there's no reason to build it i didn't have a reason to um it's just you know just a story but i did still create the hinge the door hinge because i saw a reason to do that i could see a reason why i would need that later on maybe in another environment but I think I'd have to create IK for it, which would be, uh, it's been so long since I've done IK, so I'd need a bit of, um, I think I still know how to do IK in Blender, but I, um, I don't really remember how to do it in, um, Maya, so, but yeah, this looks really good. Um, and yeah, so I just created a lot, and as well, because I, my idea has been proven to me, because when I created these pipes, I was just going to have them shoved in, but, um, and not care about them any further, but then I created this little thing around them, and, you know, that's, that's what I'm meaning. Those little things you thought were worthless turned out to inspire another idea, and that's the whole point of doing this. Along with these, like, these, I didn't think of that, uh, immediately anyway, um, and then I added them in, and now they're a part of the, um, kit, the kit bash. Looks really cool, and you know, I didn't even use that in the end, but um, you know, it's still there. This unfortunately didn't get finished, but um, that's probably because I added too many vertices to it, so I messed up the process. But I don't really care too much. I'll probably use that for another scene. And this, this thing, oh, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. And this is just, you know, if I tend like that's so easy to make that you know, there's no reason that I know of that I need it for the kit bash. Um, and then there's this, you know, if I eventually create this thing again, I might add it to the kit bash. <coughs> and then the gears are just default to Blender, so I just added them in for inspiration's sake. Yeah, so this is pretty much all I've made, and these are also, um, these little panels or whatever, um, beams here. They're, um, they are... Well, I don't know, you could add them to a lot of things, but they are missing a part, if you didn't realize. But that's because I wanted to see if anyone would critique that they should be in there. Their little, um, I saw the idea of, of Master Xeon and I decided I would, um, add them in. I'm oh, sorry, I wouldn't add them in. Um, but maybe I'll add them in to another project, I don't really know. And then there's this little piece down here. <coughs> it was um, originally just gonna, you know, be there for sake of while holding this little contraption here. Because once, when you rotate that, open the vault, at which the vault kind of rotates, kind of like out. Um, after this, these two pieces of metal have been pulled out through, of course, because this once you rotate that, it unlocks the metal poles which lift up. Because I don't know, maybe. The gears defaultly are attempting to lift the poles. I don't know. Um, and then this, because they pop out, this part drops a bit, uh, um, which lands on a little staircase behind the vault. And once this pulls out, you can walk down the staircase. This was just a little piece that um, held the contraption, but I decided I'd put that in the kit bash. Um, and this, unfortunately, didn't get finished. <laughs> and I might leave that for another 1942 scene. You know, I made a decent way through it, so I'll um I'll come back to it eventually. But you know, it's not for the scene, unfortunately. Another thing is, I made the grill, um, this grill floor, and I made another one as well that I couldn't unfortunately perfect, so I left it out. <coughs> but um. I'm sure I can perfect it later on if I ch if I decide I need it. And the whole point of um, these pipes is that you know you'll have steam coming through them, 
and the roof, the ceiling is missing because of the fact that, you know, I didn't have anything I needed from it for the kit bash, um, yeah, and, you know, the time's up for the room, from, in my opinion, so, because there are other things I want to make, so, um, for the kit bash, and I'll, uh, come back for them, uh, I'll go to them, and, you know, if I, um, if I say find things maybe that could suit this scene, <coughs> I might come back and throw them in, like, I might throw a little plane behind there, I don't really mind what I do. And, um, yeah, I might put this on my portfolio now, because, um, I think I'm happy enough with it that I think it would, uh, be really good for the portfolio. So, yeah. Well, it's been good talking, and I'll uh, see you whenever.